seasons of noxious balloons. We're going to play our last song, but this year's seniors didn't need obnoxious balloons. They needed obnoxious gifts. So I got obnoxious gifts. So we'll start right with Andrew Rorting. Andrew, if you could step forward. Okay. Andrew has been um, really sunshine in the group. He's always smiling. He's always saying, hey, Mrs. Miller, give me five. And, and I do. Um, and one really neat memory I have of Andrew is from the Florida trip. Uh, when we were in Florida, he was really happy to be there, and he got a lightsaber, and he's really happy about that, too. <laughs> so, Andrew, <laughs> this is the dollar store lightsaber. <laughs> it has three modes. Happy, happier, and intensely happy. <laughs> Congratulations, Andrew. He became a lot of things. Um, one thing Chu and I have in common is our love for unique flavored chips. And um, he, we both like dill chips, pickle chips, we like salt and vinegar chips. So Chu, I went to the store and I found these Hot Wings Classic chips. And I thought, okay. <laughs> Lover. Zach likes coffee a lot, and actually, no, he likes creamer with a little bit of coffee. <laughs> um, my creamer in my little refrigerator that I have always gets empty really fast. I don't think I like creamer that much, but I don't know. Maybe this creamer can help you out, Zach. <laughs> Shelby and Andrea, I'm putting you together um, because they, they again, more, much money, many smiles in the room again. And um, there was a Valentine's Day um, a little while back, and my husband, I thought he forgot. He didn't. He, it, I, he gave me a present later, but I was kind of going through the whole day. I'm like, okay, it's Valentine's Day, and all of a sudden this giant teddy bear appeared in my room. I was just about to text my husband, thank you so much, but it wasn't him. It was Shelby and Andrea. They got me this giant teddy bear. So, thank you guys. <laughs> And one thing I found about Sammy, and I kind of told her a little analogy this morning. I, I said, you're kind of like an M&M. You know, you're, you seem like you're really tough on the outside, but you're really sweet on the inside. <laughs> and she said, yeah. And she like, oh. So I thought of something better than something that's brown on the inside. And I thought, Sammy seems to be, you know, just this regular little thing on the outside. And on the inside, she's very moldable, shapeable, and she has done so many great things over the last year. and he couldn't keep a beat at all. Um, he said, come on, you can do it, okay, and he counted, and, and then he started taking lessons and spending tons of time, a ton, a ton, a ton of time. And Matthew is a person that never asks for recognition. He does things a lot of times behind the scenes. He shows up to help me whenever I even whisper that I might need help. He shows up to help me when I'm maybe not even asking for help. And this year, I know we put a lot on Matthew. Um, he... Yeah, she likes <laughs> 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 serious. Um, he, he took on a huge challenge and he, and he did a lot of different stuff. 
styles in music. Um, I've just been extremely impressed with you, Matthew. And that's why this year the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award goes to you. <laughs> Instrumental, vocal, general. 
Okay, just instrumental. All right. And um, she has been, this is her first year of voice, and she's been a solid, solid part of the alto section. Um, whenever I'm kind of guessing if the altos are getting it or not, I can just look over at Shelby and Andrea, and they're usually doing this. Where they're going. Uh, so they are a very good indication of what's happening in that section, and I wish you both the best of luck. I've ever heard, and you guys heard her do her roof in the beginning, and I just had to make that apparent, because anytime I give the altos a pretty standard alto part, she always wants to go lower. Can I sing the tenor part? No, Michaela, you are an alto. No matter how often you fight me, you are an alto. Um, and we also have horses in common, so we found that out right away. We both enjoy equestrian sports, so that made me like her even more. We have lots to talk about. Um, Michaela's moving on to UW River Falls to major in agricultural studies and a minor in agricultural business. Um, Elsa section, and she has been three years in voice. So thank you, Michaela. <laughs> sports with me and we volunteered in the same um, brains therapeutic riding program so I knew Katie before coming in and it was really nice to see a familiar face and coming in right away I knew I could count on her and she's possibly one of the sweetest girls that I've ever met so <laughs> Katie thank you I don't think I've heard anything well not mean directed towards me you know so thank you for that Katie um, is heading on to UW Oshkosh and she's majoring in biology for the pre-vet program right Okay, big plans, and she is her first year here in voice, and also a part of the alto section. So thank you. Kate. <laughs> Jaden, also her girl. Um, Jaden has one of the best iPods I think that I have ever witnessed, and not saying that like the style or um, the model of the iPod is awesome, but her list is awesome. And I can go to her and just say, hey Jaden, what are you listening to? Like, what's cool? Mm -hmm. And then of course I plug that into my computer and then I look equally as cool. So she keeps me popular um, in the choir wing. And Jaden is moving on to UW Sheboygan and possibly looking at sound editing, okay? Nice. So music technology. Um, she was in alto section um, for one year. This is her only year that she's been in voice and she was a great addition. So thank you, Jaden. doesn't smile. See? There you go. He's always smiling. And even when the guys are doing their little like interpretive dancing back there, I even said to them, I was like, you guys, you can't smile, you have to be serious. And who comes out like this? <laughs> so, so thank you for trying to. And, um, you're just gonna keep on smiling no matter what happens in life, and I love that about you. Um, Chu is heading on to be a fire medic at LTC. He is in the tenor section and he has spent two years in voice. Thank you, Chief. Austin, step forward. Austin is my go to guy for technology, um, and rightfully so. I mean, he's heading into that career at DePaul University. He says information systems, I say, come back and help me out and work for me. <laughs> there was one day that um, just kind of stands out in my mind. I mean, he helps set this up all the time, and I kind of know what I'm doing with speakers. And a lot of times I pretend I don't so that he has to do a lot of that. <laughs> so that he has to carry out the heavy speakers. Like, oh, Austin, I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> speaker. Or, Austin, I don't know how to burn music onto a CD in my office. Can you do that for me? And he's right there. So um, Austin's my go-to guy for that. And I thank you for helping me get through my first year. Year in voice, and kudos to Lizzie for showing up every morning. We had 
Sullivan Ensemble rehearsal at least 10 minutes before me, meaning I was late. But she was there and she'd be sitting there like, uh, you're going to open your door or what? I want to sing. It's 6.30 in the morning. I want to sing. So Lizzie, thank you for getting me up and out of bed and um, getting me to school in a timely manner about halfway through the year. So that's because of you. Thank you, Lizzie. voices wrapped into one of the tiniest bodies and I just don't I mean it defies all laws of everything and it just boggles my mind um, she took some really really great stuff to Sullivan Ensemble this year and I really enjoyed working with her and she's one of the people that when I think back um, to the beginning of the year knowing her skills in the beginning and then getting her through to the end of the year really makes me proud makes me proud of her and also gives me a little bit of hope um, for what I'm doing. She's one of those students that helps me grow. Um, and she is headed on to St. Norbert College to study early education. Okay. Um, she's in the alto section, and this is her first year in voice. Thank you. Yeah. 